Well, I think I got it. Yeah, they want to screw out of it. I think I got it un unscrewed. Yep. After it being halfway open for a year. <laughs> finally, look at it, and I finally got it opened after about a year of it being halfway opened in the cardboard. I remembered correctly, it was a Jada. It's a, it's 124th scale Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG 6x6. We'll just call it a Mercedes truck. V8 by turbo. Yeah, V8 by turbo. We saw the doors open up. Those mirrors are rubber too, so that's nice. If you bump them, they won't break off automatically. Now you can't really see. But the dashboard has color. And you can see from this side. Uh, not really. There. If you can see on the dashboard, it's got some gauges on it. And the tailgate opens. Too far. So you lift up on it and then and the hood also opens. There's the front end of it. And it's got a Mercedes Benz logo on the hood too. The hood opens up, revealing the V8 by turbo engine. A nice truck. It's also got Mercedes emblems on the wheels. There's a Bob's Sweet Stripes Peppermint. And this is from Walmart. Well, this isn't from Walmart, because our Walmart doesn't sell green light trucks. Stupid Wi-Fi ended the video. This came from Myers. So, the rest of these came from Walmart. But I guess we'll go ahead and, it appears that I've opened this one up before. I knew I had this, but I was never real sure what happened to it. I thought maybe I just thought I bought it. Kawan, Tennessee. Texaco, 24-hour service. It's a Chevy C10. It's a 71, I think. Oh, this is 72. Okay, it's a 72. And it's got a chrome toolbox in the bed. It says gasoline, tune-ups, lube, and road service. And on the tailgate it says road service. Nice little green light truck. 
the hood does not open but um, still nice truck that's on the running uh, running on empty is that series 2 I think yep series 2 um, now everything else is from Walmart now there that's the car says Walmart on it. <laughs> I've also opened up this one, so I'll go ahead and open this up. This is a Volkswagen Carmen Ghia. Nice graphics on the front. This is from the Track Day Car Culture. There's the other cars in the series. Hot Wheels has been making this car for a while. Uh, I've got one that's cr The video ended again, so here's the Carmen Ghia. I've never really understood why Hot Wheels made this piece come off, other than so you can see the motor, but it's a cool feature. So, uh, there's the engine. Then this, this piece is also metal, so... That's cool. Forgot it was kind of a struggle to get it on. There. It's got rubber tires on it. It's got lots of sponsors. B&M, Hooker Headers, Bill Stein, Hoosier Racing Tire. That's it. And of course, Volkswagen, because it's a Volkswagen Carmen Ghia. <laughs> and Hot Wheels called it Guillotine. Guillotine Garage. San Francisco. San Fernando Valley. Maybe I should read what's on the car. Carmen Ghia. Here's probably the coolest thing, in my opinion. The 83 Chevy Silverado. The only thing I don't like about it is it's lowered down. If, if it was like a regular height, I think I'd like it a lot better. Or I know I'd like it a lot better. If it was raised, if it was lifted, or if it was at least the stock height, that'd be a little nicer. But, um, yeah, that's cool. There's the other cars in this camouflage series. I like that picture of the truck. And, uh, here is a Lamborghini that I was unfamiliar with. A Lamborghini... Estoque. Est Estoic. I would assume is how you pronounce that. I don't know. Anyway, it's a four door Lamborghini for somebody's rich family, I guess. <laughs> Here's all the other Lamborghinis. I've got I've got that one. I've got that one. Oh wait. No, I don't have that one. I've got that one. The Roadster, and uh, I've got a couple of the Countach. I've got a number of different Hot Wheels Lamborghinis. So here is a Walmart exclusive. This is an M2 Auto Chinese writing. Uh, 1969 Bluebird 1600 SSS. nice looking car we'll open that up in just a second here's another M2 this is not a uh, Walmart exclusive but it is also it's limited to 5880 pieces this is a 1966 Dodge L600 stake bed truck and I imagine that if you wanted to you could take those stakes off and make it a flatbed truck 
I'm going to leave it as a steak truck, because I like the steak truck. That's why I bought it. It says Dodge on the mud flaps. And here's a cool fuel and fire. It's a Hot Wheels Track Stars semi truck. It kind of reminds me of an old Diamond T truck. I don't know if it's supposed to represent any specific truck, but that's what I think it looks like. It appears to be all plastic, but I don't know. It's still a cool truck, even if it is all plastic. It's got a bone shaker truck on the back from 2016. Alright, so we'll open this up first. got one of those plastic things in there. I still don't know what those are for. Nice looking front end on the car. Definitely tell it's a Lamborghini. I like those silver stripes over the roof. That's cool. No tampos on the back, but those tail lights can be easily painted. And next, I guess, we'll open up fuel and fire. And I'm assuming that these semi trucks are made to go on the track and that's why they're called track stars and there's a loop behind there yep yeah this definitely wouldn't come off unless you pop it off as I suspected the truck is plastic and the very bottom of the chassis is metal Um, it's still a cool looking truck even if it is plastic. Just feels so cheap in your hand. <laughs> That's the only thing I don't like about it being plastic. And this is the H2O tanker, H2O unit, Hot Wheels Fire Department. So, just a chrome tanker trailer. stickers coming off of this truck so we'll go ahead and open it up next what was that an auto truck I imagine is what it was yeah auto trucks case is cracked someone dropped it possibly me Man, that truck just barely fits in that case. In fact, I think it might be touching. Touching the back of the case, so I'll have to be very careful when I open it up. Oh, well, that's going to be fun to get out of there. The screw isn't in their hole. Those mud flaps are metal. I guess that's a good thing. That means they won't get broken off. I always like these trucks from M2 because they have the they have the hooks on the front. And this is still sealed, but not for long. It's not sealed anymore. Well, I tore the package. A tiny little car. I think this one, the 
the hood opens. Yes, it does. Very detailed little Nissan engine in there. Really nice looking little car. I bought it because it was different. Of course, right after I bought it, Hot Wheels started started making them. I think it was Hot Wheels. So I'm going to open that up real quick. If you remember, I think I made a video about it. My, uh, um... Hold on a second. If you, rem if you remember from before, I, uh, um... was saying that my screwdriver that came with the M2 car didn't work, so... It, it kept stripping out the screws, so I found this set somewhere. I guess you guys don't need to watch. Here we go, it's off the base. It's got a chrome muffler on there. It's tiny print. Nissan Bluebird. Yeah, you can read it, it's just pretty small. Trying to read it through the camera and the camera won't focus. It appears that my car is missing a screw. So hopefully it doesn't come apart. Come on, screw, get out of there. use the screws for various different things so I try to keep them keep track of them okay, I'm gonna film getting this screw out in case it gives me some troubles no I don't think it's gonna give me any troubles nope that's the first M2 I've ever gotten that the screw was in there like that. Pull that guy off there. Uh, yeah, down there. 1966 Dodge L600. I love how those uh, mud flaps are metal. Because I always have to keep track of my mud flaps so they don't break off. Now the hooks on the front and the turn indicator, which is crooked, and now needs to be glued back on because now it's loose. Oh no, I just pop it back in there. Um, turn indicators are, and the hooks are always something hard to keep track of. Yeah, I was expecting a wood finish on the inside. And it's just like smooth. That's alright. You know, I think this will pull my boat. Yes, it will. Looks kind of funny with a stock truck pull, steak truck pulling the boat. But it pulls it. nose of the boat just barely misses the truck so that's everything from the past year that didn't get placed in a video before I have no idea what I should call this video so I guess I'll I guess you'll find out by clicking on it thank you for watching this is part two, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you haven't seen part one, watch part one so you know where the rest of these came from. You get to see them up close. Bye-bye.